And good evening, everyone. Dave Guerra here, <clears throat> still with these sinuses. <clears throat> Drainage, it's terrible. Welcome to fall. How's everybody doing? It is Monday, October 7, 2019. Welcome. And you're over here. I got to remember the camera's over here. How's it going? How's everyone doing? Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a solid weekend. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. Got to see my daughter this weekend. That was two thumbs up. She's off at college. Yeah, no, that's that's her painting. The first time we went fishing together, and that was a while back. And um, she's in college now, so that's why she's always on the show with me. So, good evening, everyone. How are you? Hope you had it. Like I said, hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, I miss her. I do miss her. So that's part of the deal. So, I'll see her again soon, though. Alrighty, so tonight, today, sports and leadership, it's Monday again, so we kind of recap the se recap this season, this weekend in sports, and well, it actually wasn't the weekend in sports, it was the result of this weekend in sports, and uh, as the show notes said, the uh, starting with a, with an 0-5 start, the Washington Redskins, the Washington Redskins, the Washington Redskins, 0-5, it's, it's hard to say, it's hard to believe, it just doesn't happen, but it has happened. And the Washington Redskins are now 0-5. They're winless, five games into the season. Uh, they're not mathematically out yet. They're going to be if they don't do something. But they've taken that first step, or at least they believe they've taken the first step, and they fired their head coach, Jay Gruden. He's gone. That's it. If it's not working, then the time to cut, to cut bait, to cut them loose has come. And, folks, that happens in business. If you're not delivering, don't be surprised. When the hammer falls, when the scissors just cut the cord and say, That's what you're out of here. That's it. Have a great day. And in this case, it was it, it happened. So, you know, he was not delivering as head coach. He did say uh, that he did have, you know, and, and everybody sees it. All the components are there. All the components for a successful team are there. They're just not gelling. It's not, it's not happening. It's not combining. It's not, it's not, they're not firing on all cylinders. And again, why? Is it just the head coach? No, no, no. There's other issues. There's the um, the employees, or in this case, the other players. There's some players. There's a player that's holding out. There's uh, others that are just have issues. They got their primary, their their high dollar quarterback. Uh, he got. I mean, if you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about. His leg getting all distorted in multiple angles. What I'm getting at here is that. Even though you might have all the components, there's issues of finance. There's issues of employees being on board or overboard or off board or not on the ship at all. The ship is sailing. They're not there. But the mission comes first. And this is in any and every organization. The mission comes first. The mission here for the Washington Redskins is win. Win. Because if you're not winning, the fans aren't showing up. And if the fans aren't showing up, they're not buying tickets. If they're not buying tickets, money is not coming into the organization. It's that simple. It's always been that way. So they had to do what they had to do. So they cut this guy. Let's see what happens next. Let's see how it all turns out. But again, where's he going to go? We don't know. What's he going to do? We don't know. Because again, he's got this 0-5 record. He has improved himself uh, this year. I'm talking about Jay Gruden, the head coach. What does he do? What does he do? I'm more sure he's got a nice little golden parachute that he's going to have there for a while, and that's fine. But he'll, he'll come back. He'll come back, but in what capacity? Well, you have to start again from the bottom and work his way up. We'll see. We'll see soon enough. But again, in any organization, it's the mission first. And if people are not delivering on the mission and on the vision of the organization, on the leader's mission and vision, uh, the, uh, the vision of the leader to deliver on that mission and to meet the goals and to set, set the standards and meet the goals and exceed those standards, then something's got to give. And, you know, luckily... In, NF, in the NFL, there's the players have contracts, so they can't just be waved nilly-willy left-right. No. Unfortunately, in the modern business world, yes, players, you know, it, it, it kind of works backwards. The NFL's got it right. If it's not happening, get rid of the – cut it off at the head. Cut the snake off in the head and see what kind of new snake uh, – new head grows back. You know, if it grows back. It's like a lizard's tail. You know, you cut off a lizard's tail, it will grow back. Well, that's the same thing here. You cut off the head. Let's see what let's see what happens. Now, in the business world, it doesn't work that way. It's survival. The top tier people, it could be them. It could be them. It could be them not delivering, not inspiring, not motivating, not getting people to deliver. But the first ones that get cut are usually the ones at the bottom. 
the bottom rung of the corporate ladder. Last hired, first fired kind of scenario. And it happens. It happens. So is it fair? No, it's not fair because, again, the team, the uh, manager or the, the leader hired that individual that's now getting fired. The leader expected this individual to deliver. This leader put himself for herself out on the line and said, you know, we hired, we interviewed X number of people. This is who we're hiring and we're going to do good. And then all of a sudden that person doesn't deliver. Why does, why does the manager not suffer some kind of consequences for hiring the wrong individual? Why is the manager or the leader of the organization not held to a different standard because they are not motivating that employee who, well, said, hey, I can deliver. And then Nobody, nobody motivated that individual yet. He's the first one gone. So it happens. It's not fair. It's not fair in the modern workplace. But what is fair is that, well, it's got to get done and it should serve as an inspiration. But does it really truly serve as an inspiration? Nine times out of 10, it makes people more suspicious of management and of leadership. And at some point, you know, you're going to start cutting off at the bottom of the rung of the at the bottom rungs of the ladder. And all you've got is just those last few rungs and everybody else is clinging on to. And uh, guess what? It's either sink or swim. And usually it's swimming until they can't, until there's no more rungs to hang on to. And then eventually they will sink. But folks, that should be based on its own merits. Unfortunately, you know, it's who knows who, how long you've been there and things like that. And it does happen. However, in the case of Jay Gruden of Washington Redskins, it's the other way around. And that, my friends, is what happens. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be emulated in the business world. But the NFL's got that right on that part. If it's not working, cut it off at the top and let's move on with a new new set of prospects, new, new, new way of doing things, a new hopefully outside-the-box thinking. No, folks, there's no outside-the-box thinking anymore. It's just thinking in a different way or trying something different. And let's see if it works. And that's really all there is to it. Listen, it's Monday night. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you Tuesday. Have a great Tuesday as well. Um, pretty much that's it. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Good night, Dave.